for the four thumb ups. A lot of thumb ups. Hello guys. I know a lot of us, you, me, a lot of my friends, uh, have some concerns about guitar bass, guitar bass interactive, and git merge. Which one is better, which one is faster, which one is more dangerous and how to do it in the good way. Today I would like to show you how we can do it in the good way, when to select Git Merge, when to select Guitar Base or Guitar Base Interactive. Let's start! When we develop features we usually create the feature branch from our main branch. We use Guitar Base when we want to take all commits from our feature branch and move them into the main branch. This type of Guitar Base will not give us so much possibility to manipulate on each commit and it will take all of them and move into the destination. To have much better control over the commits, it's worth to take a look into the Git Interactive Rebase. We'll talk about it later. Now we will do simple rebase. First of all, we need to check we don't have a file, so much files in the master. We have them in another branch. And uh, here we have files from the feature 2 as well. So now we will go into the branch feature 1. Now we do a rebase. Let's see if we have the files inside our branch. Yes, we have files from the branch 2 as well. It was just a simple rebase. We have two ways of solving guitar base conflicts. First of all, it's solving conflicts manually, one by one, and using git add, and next using guitar base continue. Next way is to just use guitar base skip, so we will skip the commit with the file. So we will skip the commit with conflicts. It's not the best way, I would prefer just solving them instead of skipping. I would say Guitar Base is safe if we know what to do. And the way we need to take care of what we do, because even if we do not make big damage, uh, if we will kick a rebase, it can take some time to fix it and it will be really time consuming. Uh, it can be dangerous as well because uh, it uh, rewrites the history of our repository so can be a bit problematic. Of course it's still a possibility to undo kicktary base but it's as I told more time consuming than just rewriting commits. For sure from benefits from using gitary base it's really clean. Git graph, we have easier access to one single commit in our history, we have cleaner, cleaner history and branch, but we need to remember about cons of the guitar base. Uh, so if we do a remote base, we need to use force push. It can be dangerous because it rewrites the history. It's not really easy for the beginners and with normal rebase we have not so many possibilities to manipulate the commits. If we will go into the git interactive rebase it's almost the same what classic rebase just there we will get a visual editor and we'll be able to manipulate commits one by one, squash them, change the name of the message and uh, it's a bit faster to use, I would say. For sure we have better control. Let's do the interactive rebase now. I would like to show you how to do it. Here we can see our lock. I just copy pasted some formatting for lock. So it looks like that. We have few of the commits inside our feature branch. 
we will start interactive for base now we will take last three commits related to the head like main we can select three of the three of the commits and we can modify them now you can see the interactions here first of all we would like to use our like rewards so we will change the name second and the third one i would like to squash to have only one commit instead of three if we will put them into the main branch okay now we can see screen to change the message of commit that we wanted to reward we can type whatever we would like here we can see kind of like summary of our operation now our base is done let's take a look how looks our git graph as you can see we have only like in it as a firm master and we have this feature one file one new message so we have only one commit with new message instead of three it will look much better in our git history about the pros and cons of the interactive rebase for sure we can see benefits are a bit like a normal and as addition we have the really nice editor as you could see and we can really quickly clean history of whole repository it will be nice work about the cons i would say they're the same as a normal rebase git merge is a method that takes all content of our current branch and will put that inside our target branch for example we can merge our feature branch into our master branch in this case git will create a new merge commit and will take all all of the content history code commits etc from the feature branch and will put all of that into our master branch uh, the main difference between the merge and the rebase is git graph will look a bit more spaghetti will be a bit more dirty than uh, than with than if we will use a git rebase now i would like to show you how to do the simple git merge it's really easy first of all we are in the master you can see we have all of the files inside the master we will go into the feature branch you can see here we have no all of the files we have no updated with the master and let's take a look what will happen if we will update our feature branch with the code from the master let's take a look about the files voila about pros and cons of git merge for sure as a benefit i think we can tell about it's very fast it's very easy and uh, fixing and reverting if we will kick something it's nothing difficult and it will be not time consuming about bad things about git merge for sure our logs will not be really clear we will have a lot of commits there probably we will not squash them before our graph and history won't be clean as well and debugging with uh, git methods like bisect can be much more difficult okay that's it congratulations now you are the git rebase expert you will know when to use it how to use it which one is better for your project and you will be able to show it to your friends if you like the video give us thumb up to three four thumb ups a lot of thumb ups and subscribe our channel if you don't do it yet and you can leave a comment if you have some questions about that <laughs> see you in the next video bye